Hey guys, uh, Chris J from Johnson Script here, and today we're going to be deploying a web app on Google Firebase. So Google Firebase is a backend service provided by Google uh, that has everything from hosting to authentication, storage, database, analytics, and more. I prefer Google Firebase to Amazon Web Services as Google has a free plan uh, where Amazon is paid only. Uh, that free plan is called the Spark Plan. Um, before you go through this step-by-step, uh, -step, please create a Google Firebase login with that plan. And once you do, you'll be brought to this page here, which is the console. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Add Project, and um, we're going to add a project name. I'm going to use Deploy, as that's um, what we're doing here today. We'll be prompted to add analytics. I would add them as they're very powerful tools uh, that you can use to optimize the performance of your app. And then we're going to select an account, a uh, default account for Firebase, uh, and create project. Now, while it is creating, I'm going to take you through my app really quickly. It's pretty straightforward. We've got an index HTML a style CSS file and then a script JS. And the functionality is also pretty simple. Um, I have it open here in a local server. Uh, you would enter a test email and uh, well, your email and a goal and submit. And with time to uh, count down the minutes in a week uh, until you reach that goal, in which then we'll send you an email asking you if you achieve your goal. So our our goal here is to uh, launch this onto Firebase. So now that our project is ready, we're going to continue. And this will bring us to the uh, project uh, console where we have our project name, the plan we're on, and on the left, we can see all of Google services uh, listed. Now we're just going to be using hosting for today, but don't worry, if you deploy with one service, you can always redeploy with more as you need them. Um, so Google's got a walkthrough here, um, depending on what type of app you created for iOS, for Android, for web, we're gonna go with web and we're going to register the app. So uh, I'm going to use the same name as the project and check this box for hosting and then go ahead and register. Now this takes uh, a few seconds and then it will prompt us to add these SDKs into our uh, index.html. I'm going to skip this for now uh, as I'd like to add everything at once and I'll show you why. So we're going to hit next. Next, we have to install the Firebase tools, so copy this command. Now, you can do this in your terminal, in your code editor, or you can do this in Bash. I'm gonna just do it in the code editor. Um, I actually already have these tools installed, uh, and it does take a few minutes, so I'm not going to install them today, uh, as I already have them, but just enter the command, hit enter, and it will install the tools globally, after which uh, it'll prompt you to uh, enter your Firebase login information, which is the same info you just created. Um, for that command, hit enter, it'll prompt you for your username and password, and then it'll tell you that you're connected to Firebase. So once you do that, you're going to initialize Firebase in your project, which is what we're going to do. Um, now, go back to the terminal, copy that command in there, run it, and um, this will begin the initialization process uh, for Firebase, in which, uh, are you ready to proceed? Yes. Now we can select the services we want for this project. So um, we're just going to do hosting, and you can see there's two. Um, I'm gonna do configure files for Firebase hosting and optionally set up GitHub Action Deploys because I'm not going to be deploying to GitHub. Enter. Select an existing project as we already created one. That's going to list all my projects. I'm going to scroll down to deploy. Enter. Uh, what do you want to use as your public directory? Public. Uh, configure as a single page app. Rewrite URLs. So index. No. I want it to leave it as it is. Uh, set up automatic builds. No. All right, great. So. We can see here it's created some files for us, get ignore, Fire, Firebase RC. Um, now if we drop down public, 
we can see it did create an index file for us. Get rid of that. We can keep their 404 uh, error file. It's nice of them to provide that for us. And then just drag in your files into public. Okay, great. So now that we've done that, let's go back to Google. And uh, before we run Firebase Deploy, we're going to need those libraries. So hit continue. I'm going to show you where they are. If you go to this little gear box for settings, go to project settings and scroll down. Okay, we can see the uh, SDKs here they wanted us to uh, include. If we go to CDN, now this has everything that we want. Not only does it have the you know, Firebase app, Firebase Analytics, but we've got our Firebase config and our initialized Firebase. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these two into my index. You can copy all into your index if you want, um, but I prefer to do it this way. Save those there. And then I'm going to take this function, this object rather, put this into my script. As I'm importing my script, into Firebase, into, into the uh, index.html, rather. Let's save that. Okay. Take a look at my local host server. Is this still running correctly? Yes. Okay, great. Um, now, before we deploy, if you'd like, you can run a command called Firebase Serve. And what that does is it will host on Google Firebase um, locally. Basically, you can see how your app is operating on Firebase. Uh, obviously, I already checked with the local server, but um, it doesn't hurt. Um, just to double check Google server and see what it looks like before you deploy. Okay, it's working great. Now we can deploy a Firebase. So control C, shut down that server. And we're going to run the command Firebase. And this may take uh, a second or two, just like the initialized Firebase did. But you can see it creates, created a JSON file for us, a debug log, um, and our deploy is complete. So you can find your hosting URL here. So if we follow that link or just uh, copy it. And paste into our browser. Great. Our app is now deployed on the web. So uh, we're going to, again, just make sure it's functioning correctly and it is excellent all right so that is how to host a web app on google firebase um, there are other great services that google provides such as the firestore database um, which i did create another video on some um, dns configuration with godaddy uh, but i will create a video on how I incorporate the Firestore database into my app to store user data as well. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.